Hey, what's up, y'all? We are back again today to show you a couple different ways, three exactly, to program an 808 base in the uh, MPC software. So a couple different ways you can get this done. One way is to use 16 level, which would involve you putting the sample on a pad and then spreading it across the 16 pads and uh, playing them at different tunes or semitones, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the next way would be to make a key group, and then the third way is going to be using Serato Sample. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm on my MPC Live. You guys can do this manually with the software if you want, but we're going to go to Sample, or we're going to go to Program Edit, excuse me. All right, so if you notice on my screen, I basically just went from Home to Program Edit, okay? Now, you see that there's a sample loaded on Pad 1, and it's essentially an 808. Alright, that's how the 808 sounds. I'm going to turn it down because it's probably too loud. Let's play it one more time just so you can see. Cool. Alright, so now that we have an 808 added, I can uh, basically just go back to home. Alright, and see that the 808 is on pad A1. Then I can hit 16 level. Alright, and then I can hit tune. Okay, so what tune will do is it'll put the uh, original pad on pad A4, meaning that the tone that you hear now, let's go ahead and deactivate it. All right. This is how the 808 sounds. All right, now you click 16 level and the original pad by default will be pad A4. And that sounds like. All right, so if you notice, basically pad one, whatever um, key it was in on A1, it's the same key in A4. So now if you play pad A1, it'll be in a lower key than A4. Because say if this sample, I think the sample is in G sharp. Essentially what that means is that G sharp is now on A4 according to 16 level. And a couple keys down would be the new key right here on pad A1. Um, if that's confusing, we'll go ahead and just put pad A1, pad 1 as the uh, original note. But if I'm programming an 808 this way, essentially it keeps going up by semitone all the way up to 16 pads. So I'll be quiet for a second and let the 808 play to kind of show you how it'll go. All right, just like that, right? So now that we have this stretch to car across 16 pads, there are a couple different ways that we could play this out. We could, you know, start with some low tones and then move up high. Um, you can really just have fun with it. So we're going to program a dummy um, 808 bass right quick. Let's see. All right. Sounds like this. So we can get rid of this and just to kind of drive the point home, let's delete that, disengage 16 level, re-engage 16 level, and let's move the pad from one up to four again. So if you remember, the sample's in like G sharp. So now instead of it being on pad one, pad A1, it's on pad four. All right. So then that affects the rest of the tones you hear and how high of an octave you can go with the rest of the keys. So now if we play from one, hmm, all right, let's troubleshoot right quick because the sample is not playing. All right, so notice because the sample moved from pad one, or the original sample moved from pad A1 to A4, um, you played less high notes because you had less low notes, if that makes sense. So if you want to even balance, we can move this up, disengage, and then bring this to pad eight, okay? 
So now we can play down the keyboard like this. All right, so now that you have an equal amount of notes in lower octaves and higher octaves, let's uh, go ahead and program something just to kind of test where we're at with our knowledge. All right, so we programmed a quick uh, 808 bass line. Not gonna lie, it's kind of whack, but it's just something that we did right quick. So that's one way you can do it, right? Let's go ahead, delete all these events. All right, disengage 16 level, and let's move on to the second way, which would be a key group, right? So we go to track two, and we go to this symbol right here. That symbol is for key groups. So now we have to go back to program edit, and for sample layer, that's where we're gonna scroll to. We're gonna use that same 808 we just used, okay? Now, it should be stressed, stretched across the keyboard. But what we wanna make sure that we do is, so we, we can switch the sample from one shot to note on or from note on to one shot. Essentially the difference, if you do note on, as soon as you stop pressing the key, the note stops playing. But if you do one shot, the whole sample will play. So I'm gonna switch this to one shot. So the whole sample will play with me just clicking the pad as opposed to me having to hold it down. Then I'm going to switch the polyphony to mono and the mute group to one. So we covered key groups in an earlier tutorial, and basically you want to do that so that the samples don't overlap with each other. So, right? Okay, so now that you have your notes spread across the keyboard, let's go ahead and program another bass line this way. So that's another way you can go ahead and program a bass line using your 808s. And we can move on to the third way now because that's pretty much the gist of using key groups to do it. You essentially load the sample across the keyboard. Um, you make sure the polyphony is set to mono and then you make sure mute groups are set to one so there's no overlap. So the third way to be able to do this would be with Serato sample, which is a favorite of ours. So we're gonna switch the program to a uh, plugin program then we're going to go to Serato, then we're going to go to Sample, okay? All right, and let's see if we can open up the project. It should let us drag that over. Nope, all right, hold tight one second. We're going to go ahead and drag this sample over from Splice. y'all looking at all my plugins and stuff but none of this stuff is a secret anyway honestly all right so we're gonna go to base uh here we go boom all right cool so we've loaded that 808 in there and if you remember from our earlier splice tutorial we uh set a marker right here and then we select this button okay so now that 808 is spread across all these different notes And it's on note on right now, so we'll do this. All right, and this button is on mono, so the samples won't overlap. So then let's go ahead and uh, program something. And there you have it. Those are three different ways you can program your 808 bass using the MPC software. Two of them native to the software and one of them using a plugin. So uh, with that said, we're going to go ahead and check out. If you have any questions, don't forget to hit us up, drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe and definitely hit the email list, tell a friend to tell a friend, and we will catch you next week. Peace.